Here's what I can't stand, and this is about as negative as I'm going to be. I cannot stand when people say, I'll be happy when. I'll be happy when I get my raise. I'll be happy when I go on vacation. I'll be happy when I win my next event. I'll be happy when I'm sponsored by so-and-so. I'll be happy when, I don't know, the cows come home. I'll be happy when. And I think to myself, did it ever occur to you, Mr. or Mrs. I'll be happy when, that you can be happy now? That you can be happy and win. You can be happy and get the raise. You can be happy and kill it at your next presentation. You can be happy and win a gold medal. You can be happy and win. And let's take that further. Have you ever considered that you can be happy and because you're happy, you win the gold medal. Because you're happy, you get the raise. Because you're happy, people want to be around you. Because you're happy, people look for you. What would it be like if you were 37% more successful in sales, if sales is your thing? What would it be like if you were 19% more accurate? Maybe that would help in sports. What would, it help like, what would it be like if you were three times more creative, if art or marketing were your thing? Or maybe you're uh, a slope style skier or a freestyle BMXer. I'm thinking that extra 3% might help you at Crankworks. What if you were 10%, just 10% more engaged in whatever it is you do? Sport, family, business. What if you were 31% more productive? What if you were able, that was that 31% to just train a little better, to read a little more, to stick a little bit longer? By the way, those are not my numbers. That's Harvard. That is Harvard's numbers based on happiness. Those are the exact numbers people get. Those are the exact percentages, those are the exact increases based on happiness. You know what that is? That's belief system.